Hi, this is George Cow. So I'm going to try an experiment. Uh, I usually do my videos in my home office, uh, but I just thought, you know, what if, what if I did some videos while I'm on my dog walk, which I do every day, and uh, it might be more interesting to hear, uh, you know, even business ideas or things I usually talk about while I'm out walking in beautiful nature. Uh, so I want to briefly talk about five areas of, of business and uh, what I invite you to do is to uh, let me know as you listen to these five areas which area you would love for me to, to teach more on, talk about in more videos in the future and I will. I'm, uh, and let me know what you think about these sort of nature-y uh, business training videos. Uh, okay, so I'm going to keep it short if I can here. Uh, really short overview. The first area, so these are five areas of business that, that, you know, these are not the only five, but these are, if you paid um, weekly attention, maybe even daily attention to these five, you would have a more viable uh, and, and thriving business than, than most people, I think, because most people neglect at least one of these five. So the first area is enrollment. Enrollment is activities that allow you to get enough clients, enough customers in your business. And so uh, these are things like um, reaching out to, uh, obviously reaching out to prospective clients who have inquired about your services in the past, but you maybe haven't been following up as, as uh, faithfully as, as you, you could. Um, one other technique, there's lots of techniques. There's partnering, there's um, doing webinars, you know, there's uh, doing uh, in-person speaking events, but one technique that I'm recently uh, inviting people to consider is reaching out to an influencer and allowing them to try your services for a couple of sessions. Now, some influencers are too busy and you can offer them that you can make this offer to say, hey, listen, if you want one of your premium clients to try it, um, that's, that's great. You know, and uh, what, what you ask in return is any advice that they have about outreach. I'm going to put a link uh, below this video to a fuller discussion of this technique because I think it could be really effective for some of you. Okay, the second major area of business is content. Content is, uh, I think, best seen as, and I'm going to start walking this way now, Content is best seen as uh, a mid to long term strategy of building your ideal audience. And this is things like posting regularly on the social media platform of your choice, maybe Facebook if you like it, or Twitter if you like it, or LinkedIn, or, or Pinterest, etc. Uh, content could also be podcasting if you love to, to, to speak. Uh, it could be doing videos if you love doing videos. Okay, so that's a second area to pay attention to and um, see what you're doing on a consistent basis. The third area is what I call services development. And this is regarding two things. One is, are you looking at your client experience on a regular basis and seeing how you can improve upon that? And the other is, are you looking at the types of products, services, programs you're offering and see how you can innovate and and bring something new to test in the market. Okay, so the fourth major business area is uh, what I call awareness and recovery, which is are you being aware on a daily basis about your energy level, about how and when you are most effective, and, and inst instituting the habits that allow you to be uh, fully optimized in your work habits. So one piece of awareness, for example, is are you taking a pause every hour to regroup, to you know, get a drink of water, maybe do some stretching or some resting. And um, what practice do you have on a regular daily basis throughout the day to stay positive, energized, and in flow and balance? Okay, So that's the fourth major area is awareness and recovery. And then the fifth major area of business is finances, money, the money part. Uh, now, I'm a bit different than... Uh, a lot of sort of business marketing coaches, I don't necessarily think that it's healthy for people to focus on, always focus on the six figures or the seven figures or whatever, but you do need to be looking at money 
on a regular basis so that you have some goals in mind. And if you have a certain number goal in mind, you don't have to obsess over it, but at least you're aware of it. And if you are aware of it and check in on it, check in uh, with it on a regular basis, either it's at least once a month, very least, but perhaps once a week, or when you're still building up your business viability to do it every working day, that'd be, that'd be quite healthy because you at least keep the number in awareness, keep awareness of what's coming in and out. So you can always ask, is what's coming in and out, or at least it's, are my expenses truly fulfilling for me? And uh, are, is, is, am I meeting my income goals? And my dog is barking right now, so I'm just going to go in this direction a bit. Um, okay, so those are the five areas of, of, of business that deserve it, that if you, uh, if you instituted habits that are consistent, uh, whether it's a monthly, some are monthly habits, some are weekly, and some are daily habits, it, it would make your business more sustainable and more fun. Than, uh, than most people, uh, than, than most people's businesses. So I hope this is, this is one take, the first take. Uh, let me know if you thought these nature type uh, videos, uh, teaching videos are interesting, helpful. Do you have any suggestions for me? Um, I'm holding the, the camera <laughs> with one arm. Uh, so I, have, I can't make videos that are too long because my arm will, will fall off. Um, what topics would you most love for me to, to go deeper into? And until the next video, I wish you well.